And good afternoon, everybody. Meteorologist Kyle Granger in the WVLT First Alert Newsroom, where we are looking at the latest information that is coming through about the potential for severe storms that we expect, especially during the evening hours from 6, 7, 8 o'clock tonight. And many of you are going to try to go to bed around 10 or 11, and you're going to hear those rumbles of thunder on the outside as well. That's why we have issued a WVLT First Alert Weather Day for today. And some of these strong storms are already moving through uh, parts of the area and parts of the southeast region at this particular place in time. Let me take it to Huntsville, Alabama, where you can see just how wet those streets are. We'll watch to see if they've had any lightning associated with any of these storms that have been moving through uh, at this particular place in time. And our storms will be moving through. They are under the gun uh, at their particular place because of uh, just the instability that they have uh, in their particular region. So another day where they are uh, watching out for the possibility of some strong storms that could lead to some isolated tornadoes through throughout the course of the uh, afternoon. And of course, we can't rule that out either. And that's why we have this WVLT first alert weather day that is in place across uh, the area for us, especially our communities further down to the south. You may experience uh, just a little bit more in terms of what has been going on in terms of those stronger storms this afternoon and evening. Right now in Knoxville, we are at 59 degrees and we are looking at the uh, winds that have been kind of picking up through the course of the afternoon 10 to 20 miles per hour not out of the question and here's how much rainfall we've had today so some of you have already had well over a quarter of an inch and starting to tack in half an inch of rain in the bucket some of us are still more like that tenth of an inch so that's the situation that we have the areas that see more rain definitely will see more uh, problems with these flooding and runoff issues as we move uh, into the latter part of the day and i'm going to show you the radar in just a second and you're going to see why our concern uh, is for uh, this a storm that moves through in the next uh, say three to four hours or so. So here's the radar and cloud track over the past couple of hours. You can see just light in nature right now in and around Knoxville, parts of Crossville, Cumberland County into Sevier County. Not the best day to go take in some views and vistas, but let me take you in a little bit closer, show you what's going on. This is Loudoun County right now, right in the city of Loudoun. You've got that light to moderate rain that's off to your east, pushing through Greenback, parts of Friendsville back in the Blunt County, Philadelphia down to the south, and more over parts of Cumberland County, Crab Orchard just to the uh, east of Crossville, moderate showers. So as you're driving, you're going to go in and out of these uh, heavier bands of rain and back into the sprinkles and in like Kingston, not a lot happening uh, for my friends there at this particular place in time. Washburn, you've got a, a sprinkle or two over you as well as Luttrell, and then that broader perspective shows what is on the way. You see where it says Columbia, right in the heart of Middle Tennessee. This is moving east and northeast and will be grazing our plateau counties here in the next little while, and that's the band that we saw over Huntsville showing us uh, some of those heavier showers. You can see uh, this particular uh, situation where we have the, the wet roads, the wet streets. Uh, you can see the rain coming down there on the top of uh, that particular building. And this comes by way of our sister station that is in the uh, Huntsville, Alabama area. All of this moisture is going to come over the top of us and create uh, some of those runoff issues that we expect. And we can't rule out the possibility that one of these storms does manage to turn on the strong to severe side with some gusty winds upwards of 60 miles per hour. And that's not it, folks. We've got another band of moisture that is going to play catch up to that as we move right on into the evening hours as well. So here's where that storm risk is. If you have uh, been watching us through the course of the morning, this has been shifting and changing on us. And now the Storm Prediction Center has even nudged that enhanced risk just a little bit further closer to us. So the southern portions of McMinn County, uh, you are under that enhanced risk for an isolated tornado or two. The, the instability is really there to create some of these uh, rotations in the atmosphere. And uh, you get down to Chattanooga, southern Tennessee, more of those communities are in that. For the rest of us, it's a level two or a level one. So that level two uh, threat would go from Crossville to Wartburg, parts of Lenore City, Maryville, Greenback, Wares Valley, Gatlinburg, Jones Cove, Dandridge, Jefferson yeah. City, Newport, Cosby, Madisonville, Athens. 
everyone from Jamestown to La Follette, just kind of north of that I-40 corridor, you're in that at level one. Doesn't mean let your guard down, it just means that not quite as much of a threat for you as some of these other communities and especially down to the south. Look at this big bullseye that is right in the heart of that Tennessee line, middle Tennessee down to Alabama, Georgia and Mississippi, northern communities there, kind of the Dixie Alley where we see these storms uh, manage to uh, come through. All of you are in that enhanced risk just in case you are watching us uh, by way from the uh, internet. Enhanced excessive rainfall risk. For us here in Knoxville, for us uh, say in Oneida, if you're in Huntsville, Crossville, uh, Crab Orchard, we're going to be watching for how much rainfall we get here. You saw that big blob that's going to come right over the top of us here over the next little while. And that's why um, we have this potential for rain to just become excessive. It has to go somewhere and it's going to fill up these creeks and streams and ditches as we move right on into the afternoon. So from Wafala to Wartburg, Knoxville, Maryville, you all are under the gun for some runoff issues moving into the afternoon with some of these heavier storms uh, that will be coming with us. It doesn't have to be a severe storm to drop a lot of rain. It could lead to some flash flooding issues though. Here's what we're looking at. So Wednesday evening into Thursday morning and the timing kind of fluctuates here depending on the model run but we have been looking at that isolated tornado threat for all of us hope that doesn't happen but the primary threat is going to be this wind damage and an increasing uh, threat for flood uh, damage as we see these creeks and streams rise and we, we have to put the water somewhere so it will run off uh, into places that uh, we may not want to see it. Remember, turn around, don't drown, don't try to drive uh, through water that's completely covering a street. That is not safe, that is not wise. So once we get past the uh, six o'clock hour, we're gonna turn in and activate the WVLT first alert weather day. The banners go red, here's nine o'clock. Look at that strong storm that's pushing through Kingston, parts of Harriman, uh, deep reds there. That is of a concern of heavy rainfall, but also some of the instability that I was talking about that we have in these particular areas. This is going to continue to fan out. It moves more into Knoxville by the 9, 10 o'clock hour. And then by 11 o'clock, we're talking about Morristown, Newport, Gatlinburg, Maryville, kind of a rocky night for you if you're trying to watch the 11 o'clock news and then head on off to bed. And that moves on off to the east. We're left with a few showers that will stay with us for the uh, overnight hours into the early morning of Thursday. And of course, uh, meteorologist Ben Cathy and chief meteorologist Heather Haley will both be here through the course of the overnight hours. And they're here just in case something were to happen and letting you know uh, about all of that uh, that you need to know during the overnight hours. So that first alert weather app will continue to be updated and monitored no matter what time of day it is. Someone will be here making sure that you know what you need to know. A few more rain showers will be with us for the start of our Thursday. We'll pull the weather alert to a close once we know we're done with the flooding concerns and the flooding threats right through 1030 middle part of the day. And then we start to see things clear for the afternoon on our Thursday. We'll try to get the sunshine back. We'll have a a decent night for us uh, with the stars for those of you wanting to stargaze. So winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour, not out of the question, right on through the uh, middle and latter part of the day. You see here 330, some gusts at times up to 20, if not 26 from Talbot over to Rogersville, approaching 30 in Greene County. The storms come through later tonight. Winds will pick up, especially into the mountains, 35 to say 40 miles per hour, not out of the question for our higher elevated communities. And then all of us, a part of this as that storm system exits coming up on our Thursday morning. Things will calm down here though. I promise you as we get into our Friday. So here's what we're looking at in terms of the rainfall. And I mentioned that big blob that is just to our south and west. And that's what I think is going to come over us here in the next little while from Crossville to Oneida, La Follette, Maynardville, Morristown. You're going to get that swath and that's when you're going to see uh, some of these numbers start to pile up here first early on in the afternoon and then that second wave that comes right on through that six o'clock hour like I was showing you. So keep that first alert weather app handy. Go ahead and plug the cell phone, plug in your iPad, make sure that it is fully charged for the evening ahead. In case you lose power, you're still going to have a way for us to communicate with you and let you know everything that you need to know to keep you and your family safe. And of course, uh, the weather app is free and it's something that uh, you can use even on a sunny day to make sure you're planning out what you need to know. So here's a look at your forecast for today. We're at 71. We're going to pull this back just a little bit. Temperatures just quite not going to get there. Showers and storms will be with us. We're looking at that 60% coverage. And then tonight, the weather app is going to be handy, especially if you're trying to sleep. We can send you that information. You get that ding, and all of a sudden, you know, hey, it's time for me and my family 
to uh, take shelter and we can geofence that down to your specific neighborhood, your specific location, so you're not getting stuff that is not relevant for you uh, depending on where you live. So overnight tonight, we've got that 80% coverage, these showers and storms, and we are not done with it yet. We've got wet streets here in downtown Knoxville right now. We know that they'll get even wetter, so ponding on the roadway is still a possibility for tomorrow morning, but the next weather alert day is looming right around the corner. We've got another uh, alert day coming up for Saturday night. More strong storms, gusty winds, heavy rainfall, all a possibility with this as we move into our first day of the new year. And then by the end of that, we're going to see some temperatures that are falling through the course of the day on Sunday. And then Monday, you're going to say winter is back. You can pull out that winter jacket because we'll be back into the 40s and struggle to get out of the 40s for afternoon highs. So here's the extended forecast for you. Weather alert day today, waves of storms, more strong storms around for the uh, start of the year coming up on Saturday. And then that rain will start to exit on Sunday. Temperatures will cool through the afternoon. We're back into the 40s, 42 on Monday to 48 on Tuesday. We'll try to get back to 50 on Wednesday, but still, nonetheless, it is going to be uh, one of those days where you are wanting the winter jacket then for sure. Let's take you back to Huntsville, Alabama, where we were watching. This is a different camera from the uh, rocket. And Space Center there. You can see uh, kind of a stormy, gloomy afternoon for them uh, as well. We were watching that for us when we saw, saw that uh, hospital, that children's hospital camera from downtown Knoxville. We were looking at uh, some of those wet streets that we have right here in the heart of Knoxville. I'll take you back here closer to home. You can see that off in the distance and uh, not a lot in terms of that fog, but we do have some limited visibility issues uh, that are around for parts of the area especially uh, where we have this uh, rainfall that is uh, moving through and has been creating uh, some issues on the roadways. And again, slow down. Don't try to speed and, and get to where you're going. Leave extra time and then you can get there safely and see your family, friends, do your work, whatever it is that you may need to do. Of course, we've got a lot of information. I'm updating the blog on the WVLT website, WVLT.TV. We've got this information in the WVLT News app, our weather app as well. We all are going to be here through the course of the evening hours so that we make sure that you have everything you need to know. Um, and when it's all clear, we will give the all clear so that you can uh, plan your evening. So for now, just remember, if you get water on the roadways, turn around, don't drown, don't try to be a hero and, and go drive right on through that situation. It is not good. It only takes a matter of inches to move a uh, car off of the roadway and in an embankment. We know we've seen it several times here where our television station is just off of Paper Mill in Knoxville. That ravine floods out into the street. It pulls those cars right on down into that ditch. We've seen it multiple times. We've showed it to you as well. So um, just don't do that situation. Keep your phone handy. Keep it charged through the course of the afternoon or your iPad or ever how we communicate information with you. So if there is an alert that comes through, you will get it first. We promise you that uh, through the course of the evening hours and then rest on Thursday and Friday. We're coming back with you with more on Saturdays. These storms uh, will be with us as well. So that is the story from uh, here. We're always on the WVLT First Alert Weather app. Again, Heather and Ben are on their way in. They'll be here with you for the duration of the uh, evening hours. And I'm staying until they get here as well. So hope everyone has a great day. I'll say a prayer for all of us that we all get through this safely. Have a great day.